All right, guys, great to meet you. Right behind me, that's the Hayden model. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other side of the street to kind of give you um, perspective of it. And then I'll go through, I'm gonna point out different features in the home and uh, provide some narration. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get this party started. All right, here is the front of the house. So it's the Hayden model, five bedrooms with a potential flex room, uh, anywhere between, I think it was uh, two and four bathrooms and right around 2,600 square feet. So one of my favorite things about uh, the way that D.R. Horton is doing these two-story constructions is it's not only block on the on the primary uh, level, but it's block on block. So that's pretty rare to find. Even in higher end uh, builders like in Vieira, they don't do the block on block. And that is significant because for you, this home would be con considered a entirely block home. So your insurance is gonna be much less than it would be for a frame home. A lot of times the two stories, the up upstairs is framed and the bottom is block and you can start seeing stucco lines and tons of problems. But we're not talking about that because that doesn't exist here. So really cool, for, you know, front of the house. Um, it's a big one. You'll notice on all the windows, you'll start seeing these studs that stick out. That's all for your hurricane um, shutters. And that is a requirement since it's um, newer construction, all glazed openings or, or windows have to have hurricane uh, protection, whether it's an impact window or shutters like this house. So I'm gonna go ahead and you even see up above the door, like even that piece of glass that has a shutter. So go ahead and walk in and point out some things. So this is when you first walk in, what you're greeted with. This is a little flex space over here. Um, a lot of times I see people set this up as a sitting area. Could be an office, piano, music room, I don't know, anything you want. Uh, something that DR Horton's really proud about. I don't think this is connected, but this basically controls the whole house. So everything from your locks to the thermostat, it's all just the smart features here. Pretty sure you got a pamphlet on that. So walking through, you have the you know more open floor plan out of all the models. Um, I like the balance here. It works really well. It's a large kitchen. You have your dining area here, and I will get you another perspective from the other side so you can kind of see. And then your pantry over there. But good size island, plenty of upper cabinetry and some lowers. And here's a perspective from this corner. So a lot of people will like that open floor plan concept because if you're in here cooking um, or maybe you're kind of hanging around and you got maybe the television on that wall. And so the kind of family dynamic is also around here. You know, this is even the bar height. So you could put some stools here and still kind of hang out um, at the bar. And then, you know, it's, it's a really good kitchen, good flow to it. And then you have a nice pantry. That's always a bonus, more storage. Um, none of the cabinets have poles or anything on them, but you can always add those later, the little knobs or whatever. Um, other things to take into consideration, new construction is nice because it's brand new, but oftentimes it doesn't have any ceiling fans or lights or anything um, like that in the house. So those expenses do add up. Same uh, a lot of times with blinds and drapes. And then here's the door to take you outside. When I come back downstairs, I'll walk out there with you guys. Just wanna show you that view again. So I'm going to go ahead and start down here and then we'll go upstairs and then outside. So down here you have the one room functions really well as it could be a guest room. It could be an office. It could be someone's bedroom. It could be anything you want. It's nice to have at least one room down here and then that full um, bath. So same. Uh, kind of countertop, it's a Formica. And then that's just your inserted tub. And then this door is gonna take you to the garage. This right here, more storage. You'll notice this house has a lot of storage. So that's just under the stairs storage. Um, again, can't have enough of that. It's a beautiful thing. Here's your two car garage. There's not much in here because the air handler is upstairs. You got the water heater down here. There are the shutters for all the windows, the door and then your sexy garage. Pretty standard size, um, somewhere between 400 and probably 460 square feet. Has an opener, a smart opener as well, so that can be controlled wirelessly. Okay, and let's go ahead and mob upstairs where the remaining rooms are. There's a, a little bonus space up there, more bathrooms, some windows, 
There's a bunch of stuff up there. Okay, so now we've got some options. We could go left or we could go right. We're gonna go right. So here we are, uh, formerly known as the master retreat. Now real estate vernacular has changed to call this a primary bedroom. We have delicate ears. I don't wanna offend anyone. So here is the room. It's big. Um, let me get a measure measurer for you. So from where I'm standing, it is almost 20 feet. So it's 20 feet, this wall, from here to here, it's 20 feet long by, let's see, looks like almost about 12. Yeah, actually 13. It's a really good sized room. So 13 by 20. I mean, it's, it's a monster room. Walk it into your bathroom. You've got the double sink, your shower, and then the closet. So it's a little bit smaller. This is the only closet in here. I'm just kidding. Look at this. This is nice. Good size closet. So you do have two up in here. Again, for delicate ears, I don't call them his and hers anymore. I call them gender neutral closets. It's kind of a joke, but. All right, moving along. So that is the primary, right off the primary laundry space. So where the magic happens. You've got another bedroom here. This is one of the smaller rooms. It's really nice views from, from this room. This room upstairs is probably 11 by 11. So it's 11 that way, a little over 11 and a half that way. So fair size room, most common sizes are like 11 by 10, 11 by 11. So very common. A little flex space here, could be a child's play area. Put some couches, more storage. Uh, moving on, this house just keeps going. Oh, what do you know? Another room, comparable in size to the last one, close to an 11 by 11 square. Windows for the views. You have the door for the closet. Nice to not have those bifold doors. Those are pain in the ass. And going through. So here is gonna be all of your air handler equipment. And then you have this bathroom. Full bathroom, double sink, more storage, and then separate location for the tub and toilet. And making our way to a another storage linen closet, and then the last bedroom. This one is a little bit larger, it appears. Or the largest one up here. I feel like this is closer to 12 feet here. Yep, so 12 feet that way and 11 this way. So this is the biggest guest room upstairs. Same consistency with the door for the closet. Those are your standard size closets. And gonna go ahead and move along, make our way outside. I'm trying to get some of these lights off while we're up here. And then show you guys the backyard, some of the views, but you'll notice those are all the blinking plates for where you could put a fan or a light. So very, very common for new construction to not include those. So just things to consider. And again, this glorious master. This is a really good size. And that closet, incredible. All right, let's make our way downstairs. Okay, yeah, another view of the kitchen and into the living. And I think the lot that you guys are looking at is comparable in size. I mean, the backyard here is really nice. It's a lot of space. If you wanted to add a fence or 
they just have some privacy it's just nice uh, same thing same with the shutters there you'll see on the windows uh, this is for the air conditioner here so it's right outside of that guest room downstairs sprinklers and the lot so there she is so let me know if you guys have any questions about the uh, walkthrough or the floor plan or anything else that I didn't really cover, but it's a good floor plan. It's nice to have more space than you need, um, only because you'll probably find a reason to have it. And also for resale purposes, having a larger uh, footprint is always gonna be a little bit more effective. Uh, finding five bedroom homes in this area in this price category, very rare. So a lot of buyers, if they have the opportunity to scoop that up, they will because they know that down the line, most most bigger homes at 2,600 square feet or 3,000, they should have five bedrooms, but you'll find some with a four. When so with now, right, so many people working from home, it kind of culture has changed. That fifth bedroom is really helpful because it now doubles as an office. So a lot of people working from home. So again, I think it's a really good thing. Uh, good construction. There are some features inside, you know, down the line if you wanted to update. I've had clients that buy homes in here and then they add granite into the kitchen, into the bathroom slowly over time. Um, but the house is completely moving ready. You don't have to do any of those things. It's all just preference at the end of the day. So let me know if you have any questions. It was really great to meet with you guys and talk with you. And I'm looking forward to helping you find your next home.